What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I do appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today guys I want to talk about another extension to the Chalice of Opulence which quite literally allows you to farm unlimited loot for what is only a single room which you actually get refunded. But before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support you can by hitting that like button. Okay, so explain to me by a power and hence why I am passing this info on to you guys is the fact of room bonus 2 and what this actually does and allows you to do. Now it's quite straightforward, it explains what it does. One activated rune is refunded upon looting the final chest in the menagerie. So fill your chalice with runes, run the menagerie, open that chest at the end and get one rune back. Here's the point of this video. If you run the menagerie with only one rune slotted, it guarantees you to give you that one rune back. This means you can farm for infinite loot from the menagerie chest without ever losing your rune. This I understand will only be great for a short time, as later on down the line we will be fully loaded on runes and they're basically coming out of our asses, so this will be pointless. But at the moment it's essential in keeping runes you are low on. For instance, I only have one rune of desire which rewards you the Orstringer hand cannon. And I have farmed the heck at this game. Almost got three characters up to 750. So having rune bonus 2 unlocked and only using rune of desire in slot 1 leaving the other two slots free means you have unlimited chance of getting the ore stringer because you will never lose that rune. Yes I know it's a rare chance it will drop when only using a single rune but there's still a chance. On screen now you can see my pal doing this and he's getting menagerie exclusive weapons. I mean yes roles are completely random but besides the masterwork which you can determine, everything else about the exclusive you can guarantee yourselves with your set runes will always have random perks anyway. Yet when doing that and applying a rune to each slot guaranteeing that weapon of your choice, you're losing 2 runes per run and that could be the 2 runes you're lowest on. This method I bring you today guarantees you your rune back with that chance of getting that weapon or armor piece you want. Another good thing about this is the materials you will get for the loot you obviously won't need. Plus the rare chance of getting 500 imperials if you have the power and efficiency 2 node unlocked. So it's a win win people, it also adds to your triumph of slotting 200 runes without losing any runes and this rewards you 500 imperials. You could do this day and night, farming for weapons, farming for loot and never losing that initial rune. So there are definitely benefits to doing this, like I said if you are low on a certain rune and don't want to waste them but still want a chance of getting that said reward or just in general want to farm materials. Now the info and footage was supplied to me by my pal Dark Armed Games whose Twitch can be found links within the video description. Do go check him out. But yeah guys I just wanted to make this short but sweet video passing on this info to you guys as it's really helped me out. And I mean, check out this ore stringer I got using this method. You can see that on screen now. I mean, it's not a perfect troll, but me making a hunter air assault isn't too bad. But a range finder and a range masterwork, I mean, pretty cool if you ask me. But on that note, guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really does help out. If you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny 2 videos, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next. One.